Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I'm going to show you a new fun way that I came up with to do vases. Now this is just a clear vase that I took a little spray paint and kind of randomly sprayed some red on there. This is going to be a warm colored vase. I have it on a cup turner and I am going to resin paint it. So this is a, res a red dye. It's pretty transparent because basically I don't want to completely seal, well, I want to completely seal the, the vase, but I don't want to completely color it. I want you to be able to see through it. I think this vase is a little heavy for this cup turner, to be honest. So I am using a variety of some warm colors here. This is a deep red mica powder. All of these products are from Stone Coat. I'm using Stone Coat's Art Coat. The cup turner is from Amazon. So link for that will be in the description. Keep it turning. Right now, I'm just going to kind of get this covered with a base resin layer. And then I will go in and start doing a bit more of the actual coloring. I did a resin vase before, but I did it um, on a cup upside down, which made it really, really, really transparent and really didn't keep any of the design. The cool thing about doing it this way, especially with that spray paint underneath, is you can give it a really cool design. All right, so it is fully covered by resin now. And now we'll get into more the actual decorative. So I have uh, gold here. Actually the gold is a mixture of just resin bright gold and then stone coat countertops gold dust. I love adding that gold dust because it gives it this crazy sparkle. So I'm going to kind of just have fun with this. And then I wanted to throw a little bit of purple in here. This is a purple dye. I'm going to kind of stripe that on some parts. Don't forget the bottom of your vase. And also don't forget to get the rim, but be careful not to go on the inside, at least not too much. If maybe you can clean it up later. All right. I definitely want this vase to stay mostly red. So I'm going to go back in here. I like that contrast that that purple is giving though. I'm going to actually add one more dot of red dye to my red hair because it's coming out a little more transparent than I want it to. It's still transparent. This dye is transparent, but it'll be less transparent. There we go. See that? It's darker. And I'm really not using a lot of resin. This is actually hardly any, a couple ounces maybe. And the cool thing about doing it this way is you don't need to seal this with anything. It's already sealed. So as soon as this is dry, it's good to go. And put a little bit more of the red mica. And then just a dash more of the gold on top. Perfect. All right. So the last thing to do here is to torch it to get rid of any air bubbles, which you absolutely need to do with the resin. And then I'm just going to let it spin for a few hours and then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks then. Now the torching, it also will blend it a little bit more. And you can torch as much as you want. If you want it to be really blended, you can torch it a lot. I don't want it to, so I'm kind of trying to minimally torch it just to get rid of the air bubbles. Make sure you let it go on a full rotation. And there we go. This. A uh, vase is weighting down 
this cup turner a bit. So I might try to kind of weight it down on this end as well. But otherwise, you'll probably see the resin kind of move towards the bottom of it. That's okay as long as it doesn't happen too much. If it's too off balance, then you will get resin pooled on the bottom, which we don't want. So I'll keep an eye on it. But we'll be back in just a few hours to see how it's moved. All right, we're back. So it's been a, a few hours. This is pretty much how it is going to stay. Let me actually bring you in for more of a close up on this. So you can see that it is still transparent, but a really gorgeous kind of marbled design. I love it. And it this is how it's gonna dry, this right here. It's not going to change anymore from how it is right now. So I think this is super amazing. <laughs> and it's also just a really fun and easy way to do a vase. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you plan on trying it out yourself. And don't forget to check down in the description for all of the materials, including the cup turner, the resin, the dyes and mica powder, everything. Links will be in the description. I'll see you all next time.